Hi everyone, I'm Brittany Droz and I help service-based entrepreneurs make more money and have more fun doing it. So I am at the Lisa Sasevich event where I am learning how to get clearer on how to talk about what I do with people and how to serve my community even more fully. And what's really exciting about that is I get to really focus on what is it exactly that I do with people that really helps them transform or change the way that they operate in their business, the way that they see their life, and really what they see as possible for themselves. So one of the key things that she had us focus on today was doing some of our own work. So if, if I feel that that's work that really serves my clients, which is spending the time to reflect on what got you to where you're at and how that's actually stopping you from getting to the next level, then I need to do some of that work myself. So today I focused on that first step and if you are a one-on-one -on -one client with me, you have seen me pull out this worksheet and pull out these questions several times because I'm a huge believer in that reflection is the only way that we can understand how we want to move forward. So everybody wants to jump into visioning first. I've seen so many workshops about how to envision your future, like create a vision board, how to set goals for where you want to get to. But if you're not taking any time to look at what was what did last year look like for you? What did it look like from an emotional level, from a financial level, um, from a personal development level? If, if you don't take any time to look at that, then it will be literally impossible to achieve the goals that you have on your vision board because you have no understanding of the gap that currently exists. If you don't know where you're currently at, like the platform you're on, you don't know how to get to point B because you haven't identified what point A is. And so this is so paramount in the work that I do because depending on where point A is for you depends on the strategy that you use or the tool that you use to get to your point B. So what might this look like for me? So I'll give you a very specific example because I've been working on it um, all weekend. So for me, the issue has been that I spend so much time in one-on-one -on -one work that I need to figure out how do I serve more people more fully and still really retain the impact and value that people get. And so a lot of my entrepreneurs are dealing with this. They're trying to figure out, you know, how can I help even more people? Um, and it looks different for everyone. But for me, I had to really clear on what those steps and processes are. So for a, for a first step for you guys listening out there, I would ask you, what, what do you hear back from your customers that you work with? What do you hear back from your clients? Or if you haven't, um, if you're still in your job, what do you hear from your colleagues or people on your team about what is unique about you, about what you deliver? Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone watching right now. I hope you're getting value out of this. And if you have any questions about what I'm talking about, please just write them in the comments and I promise I'll get to them. If you're watching this not live, please feel free to reach out to me in a direct message and I can um, do my best to get to you. Um, so, so this way, if you reach out to others and you start to find out how people describe you and how they describe what it's like to work with you, then you can really understand the value you deliver. And that's so important for a few reasons. One, if you figure out what people really want from you and like the number one thing they're walking away with, why wouldn't you do more and more of that? But so often we're afraid to ask for that feedback and get that information and so we just keep guessing at what we think people want. And that's a problem. If you really want to serve more fully, find out what those answers are. So it's not easy work. And I have to say like fear does come into that in asking, especially like if you are a manager and you've got to ask your team, um, you might be nervous about what's gonna come up. But 
this serves people every time. They get clearer and clearer on what it is that they do that makes the most impact in people's lives. And everyone that I want to work, that everyone that I work with, regardless of what their current position or vocation is, they want to have greater impact like that. People want the legacy of being the person that had dramatic impact, positive impact in people's lives, in their communities, in the clientele that they served. So I guarantee that this speaks to you when I'm saying that you could actually create more impact simply just by asking the people who are already in your inner circle. So take a risk, try it out, see what you get. But you also need to do your own reflection. You gotta do your own reflection on what is working for you, what feels great when you do it, and what doesn't. And you've gotta get really clear on what you enjoy doing, what you don't enjoy doing, where you feel you're making the biggest impact or get that information directly and where you're not. And this is really going to start to help you see what makes up the bulk of your impactful work and where are you just floundering and it's not really making any of a difference. It's not making any impact. It's not speaking to people. And my goal with this is Pareto's principle. And if you have watched my videos long enough, if you've ever worked with me, you absolutely know that I love Pareto's principle, which is the 80-20 rule. And this was really solidified for me even more when I heard Lisa Sasevich use it today when she was on stage. Um, and I was like, yes, I knew I was kind of smart or I knew something <laughs> because she's using the same stuff. So the goal would be to get to the place where the 20% of the work that you are doing is creating 80% of the value for your client. And why that's the goal is because it makes it easier for you and you get to have drastically greater impact. And this makes all the difference for the people that you're working with. If you knew exactly what that was that, create, that was creating that huge impact, you could give it to people super efficiently, like right up front. You could give it succinctly, like here you go, I know this is the highest impact thing. You could serve people so fast right away and give them exactly what they're looking for. But that only comes through you doing some self-exploration and doing exploration with people who are already your fans, who already like your work, and just getting that feedback about what is serving them. So that's the mission today. Get out there, spend some time talking to people about what you do, how you serve, and then spend some time doing that self-reflection about what you feel is working for you, what work you really enjoy doing, and then cutting out what's not working for you. And watch how that shapes your business or your work into something that is much more enjoyable for you. So that's the exact system that I'm working on right now, how to create that for you guys, how to help you create a service-based business that fits the lifestyle that you love and not the other way around. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'll review your questions below and get back to you guys soon. Have a great weekend. Thanks.